hello guys today i'm gonna do some walk through of uh, of gitra from this tryhackme.com and i just solved it today so it's kind of okay like i just got like 40 point from there so i wasn't fast enough so i was just searching for something reverse engineering some challenges so i started with easy one so i'm still continuing to do so i guess in future i'm gonna do i'm gonna do uh, that uh more like this video so let's start like i mean before starting i was trying to look like write-ups right there was none so i mean so i did solve it and like what's the hold up for this right so uh, then okay at first it gives us intro about this uh, gidra tool so uh, it created by binary and it's blah 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 so it can be downloaded from here so you can just download it from there and just go and download it from here then you will have to you will see like this at first uh, where it's that so you just have to do ls then you need to run this gitra run in linux so you just have to start i guess you will run that file at windows i don't know yet because it's been a while like i don't use too often windows that's why okay this this was the one file right this is what you see this isn't what you see like i mean you will you won't see like stb like okay then you just have to create new project and do at first one then okay so try keeping this at you just you are just trying to select the location for your uh, file to be saved so i just want my okay it doesn't matter i'm gonna do at root only so just name the file name so well, i will name the file as try hack me then let's do finish so this is simple walkthrough only right it's kind of easy so okay then you just have to create a new file and there are a few things that you need to do okay it's running and it just talks about that then analyzing uh, so I have here this is the example one so it just tell us to check out the important part so I'm gonna do let's do this uh, so you just have to do like this let me put it over here let me make that on a side so we can just look at pallor so let's put it here so it just automatically detects it so it's fine then let's wait for it okay then we just have to do double click so here you should be able to see okay this is our interface so you can do analysis as yes then you can use analyzing as a default one so let's do analyze then we have our function right here is our where is our main function so here is our main function so it just prints out the hello then we have another another thing would be towards like 
okay so the most important part is the tree symbol right it just talks about that this part talks about tree i mean this so we have to just look at this is the important point and next one let's try so we don't need to answer it so you are able to see both disassembly and disassembly and decompilation on the screen so that's all right you just have to click at done so on each your drone so it is if we try to explore it more so this is our hex view i mean assembly view this is our simple code it just prints out hello world it is it's not that complex so let's move on to uh next one so let me uh so i have already downloaded that example to file so let me just put it here and let's do okay and okay let me do just double click it and okay example to yes analyze so at first our question was how many user function including mean are there so we are, we can just go for function and we have two so first one is this and including mean means next one is this we have two two function that are being created by user then what is the first value of the function right uh then you just go at main look at the source code then uh, var one so where is that so let me just highlight it let let us go a little bit up then let me just drag it over here so we have so this is our this this is base pointer inside base pointer stack pointer is kept so in stack pointer we have this value in hex so if we just over over here then it will in 10 bytes so first value is being passed is 10 is set to 10 right then what is the first value set to the fn so we have our fn value so this is the fn and we can just look it over here so it is being assigned as hello so that's that so if you if you provide input one when uh, you run the binary what would the output be notice you just run the binary to find out that would be defeat the whole purpose so if we look at our main function and here is our source code in source code if we pass the one suppose string is compared with one so if we just pass one then that value would be zero so it satisfy the condition and it prints nice so that's that so next is tax 5 and we are patching the binary so there is nothing we we you can go over navigation and go to we can search for the expression right and case sensitive oh so you can search for like uh mean i guess let me try 
so enter the address so I, right now I don't have any address so if you want to go at a particular address we can go that way so it just gives us full shortcut directory over here it it is kind of useful if you are using Ghidra as your main main dissembler rather than using radar to or uh, id ida pro ida pro so i was thinking like uh using this uh ghidra so i was just looking this the, it's it has the resources right i just need to commit some time and i i, I will know about that so our final exam so let's see that okay so we need to download this file so you should now be able to completely analyze a binary now is the chance to show your skill with crack me the final exam is is binary called final exam so let's just cut this and okay let's just cancel it let's just cut it don't save it so next file we have e dot out okay then okay let's double click it okay yes and analyze it so you should analyze uh, what is the output so let's do let's do function i told you the like guys it's kind of easy totally easy so simply it's asking us what output the good job message so we want this message how can we get is it's like previous challenge if you remember it it's like example two so it is being compared so if we look back one step back it's your drawn right so if we look at this question right it's kind of you get it right if input is one it's similarly it was checking like if one equal to one then it's obviously true then it goes to zero and it satisfy the condition the end it prints out is it is similar so here it just it just compare whatever value we give in and we just have to give like good job without good job then it will satisfy this condition and it just print out this good job and that's the end i guess yes that's the end i hope it's kind of useful so thank you